Well, looking for this? Subscribe and let's learn. Creative Venus here and you will learn something new today. I was thinking of a design concept resonating with latest technological trends. A thought crossed my mind while browsing. A fusion of airflow and technology. A good start. But something was missing, a connection, a theme, a spark of light? And I thought, how about AI? So, I created a fusion of AI, airflow and technology-driven theme. I used Affinity Designer to run my creative horses. Gives me more freedom. Then I export the assets for my use in PowerPoint presentations. Let's jump to the tutorial. You have to be patient to learn. Enjoy the tutorial till the end. First insert the rectangular shape as a background. The process is similar to what you do in PowerPoint. As a presentation creator, one should be aware and know how to operate modern design or content platforms. From the left panel insert rectangle shape. Then you can fill any color. I have filled dark color. Today I am following this black theme. In order to create an AI flow slide, I need a donut shape. This gives a sense of flow of technology waves in the circular pattern around the donut shape. From the left panel insert the shape. You can edit the width of the shape and once you have placed it, simply fill the gradient color. I am using a two-stop gradient color in the shape. Well, what colors you choose is your decision. I am just following a random color scheme here. For your information, I am using the default Pantone Pastels and Neons color preset. What I like about Affinity Designer is its simplicity. However, I learned Adobe Illustrator first and then started using Affinity as well. I keep on trying new things whenever I get time. To stand out your presentations, it is important to deliver value which can be created by showcasing information with quality and impact. That's what I follow. Now I am going to create few more shapes. But a smart approach is to reuse the already created graphics. I have created couple of duplicated shapes. One I placed at the top left and one here. The idea is to customize these shapes in terms of colors, size and placement. Also, I will add color shades in the form of gradients by adjusting opacity. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate and create an overlay donut shape. The idea is to create a dark shape on half of the donut shape. You will understand, just follow the tutorial. So here I have created a duplicated overlay. Now I am going to fill dark colored gradient color. The idea is to reveal the half donut using the overlay. Adjust the opacity of the gradient stops on the dark overlay shape. By doing this it creates a beautiful effect. Once done, just group the shapes. Now let's increase the width of the donut so that you can easily see through it once the opacity is adjusted. You can use these red markers to increase the width. Now edit the gradient flow by updating the color if required, or changing the opacity. I will use three gradient stops so that the flow of opacity is seamless. Here you can see, I am adjusting the opacity of the gradient stop. The idea is to keep one side of the donut dark and other side with minimum opacity so that the donut in the background is visible. I have added the third gradient stop in the middle to create a better flow of gradient. It looks more natural now. Here I am moving this gradient handle to change the gradient flow. It is easy. Using illustration tools give more flexibility to design your presentations. Presentations are the widely used tool to do business or share business performance. Therefore, the presentations need to be effective. Now I am going to place this shape behind the original donut shape. You can send it to back. Also, you can increase its size if you want. Similarly you can duplicate and create other random shapes and patterns. Try to play with the shapes by changing their gradient patterns, rotate the shapes or gradients, adjust their width and get the output you want. Meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and get the latest update. It is important to spend time on your designs to make them look meaningful and complete. Here I am making sure the donut shapes are placed correctly and the overall slide looks balanced. I have rotated the gradient flow by rotating the circle. Also I have adjusted the width of the donut shape. If you think the color is not looking nice, or it is not matching, always search on Google some nice color palette websites or apps. You will find many apps and even you can generate your own color schemes matching your brand. Here I am adjusting other shapes and their rotation as well. Try to be creative and experiment with everything on the canvas. Presentation design is the art and science of creating effective and engaging slides that convey your message to your audience. Presentation design is not just about choosing a nice template or adding some graphics. It is also about organizing your content, using appropriate fonts and colors, and applying the principles of visual communication. Why is presentation design important? Presentation design can capture and maintain the attention of your audience. 
A well-designed presentation can make your slides more attractive, memorable, and persuasive. It can also help you avoid boring or confusing your audience with too much text or clutter. Presentation design can enhance your credibility and professionalism. A well-designed presentation can show that you care about your topic, your audience, and your reputation. So here, I am creating a custom shape by splitting donut into two. I am moving the top part to the right and then I will merge it with its first half. Just zoom in to make sure the edges are aligned. Once everything is set, just merge the shapes using the merge option at the top bar. Now you can extend the shape by adding rectangular shape. So this is how you can create custom shapes to build beautiful art and creative work for your presentations. Here I have placed the rectangular shape and added some color. After merging the shapes you can adjust the gradient flow and even change it if you want. After merging the shapes you can adjust the gradient flow and even change it if you want. Let's merge the shapes here. It has automatically picked up the gradient flow. Great. Now you can see, I am doing something. Any guesses? Now to make things more interesting, duplicate this shape and move it to the right and attach it with the original shape. Once done then click on Merge. It is always good to zoom in while doing some precise work like alignment, adjustments, working with the shape corners, etc. Now let's duplicate it again so that I can use it at the bottom part as well. Currently the bottom right part looks empty. I need to shift some weight there. Reusing shapes is always a good idea. Saves time. Now I need to add some masking to apply some depth effect. It should look like that there are many layers stacked on the top of each other. Now let's add rectangular gradient filled shapes to apply some masking over the pattern. The effect is beautiful. But first you need to apply gradient fill to the rectangular shape in order to make it work. One side of the rectangle should be dark and opaque and other should be transparent. This is what you need to do. Apply two gradient stops and fill black color on the both stops. Now adjust the opacity on one of the gradient stop. When you will place this rectangle shape above any layer it will give a depth effect. You can adjust the gradient so that it is working correctly. You can just duplicate and use it as an overlay for other shapes as well. Here I have placed it at the bottom shape as well. Also, created one more copy and placed it on this shape as well. Here in need to adjust its rotation. Now I am adjusting the gradient on the shapes so that these shapes look more vibrant and noticeable. How can you create a beautiful presentation design? Here are some tips. Use a consistent and relevant theme or template. A theme or template can help you create a unified and coherent look for your presentation. It can also help you save time and effort by providing you with predefined layouts, colors, fonts, and graphics. Choose a theme or template that matches your topic, your audience, and your purpose. Use simple and readable fonts and text. Fonts and text are the main elements of your presentation design. They should be easy to read from a distance and on different devices. Avoid using too many fonts, very thin or decorative fonts, or font sizes smaller than 18 points, use bullets or short sentences, and keep each line to one line without text wrapping. Use colorful and meaningful graphics and images. Graphics and images can help you add visual interest, convey emotions, and illustrate concepts to your presentation design. They should be relevant to your content, high quality, and not too distracting. Use graphics and images to complement your text, not to replace it. Use contrast and alignment to create hierarchy and harmony. Contrast and alignment are the principles of visual communication that can help you create a clear and balanced presentation design. Contrast can help you highlight the most important elements of your slides, such as titles, headings, keywords, or data points. Alignment can help you organize the elements of your slides in a neat and orderly way. Let's duplicate the shape and flip it vertically. And adjust it as you can see on the screen. Sweet. You can duplicate and place shapes just randomly like I am doing now. The end result looks good to me. Now let's add some effect on this main donut shape. Just duplicate the donut shape and apply Gaussian blur effect from the effects panel. This gives a nice glow or reflection effect. Select the shape and click on quick effects. 
Pick Gaussian Blur option and apply it. Then you can play with the Radius option. The bigger the radius, bigger is the blur effect. Keep it like as you can see on the screen. After that you can adjust the circle as well. It is important to check the opacity of the effect, otherwise the output will be too vivid. It is better if the opacity is less. So you have to try and test the results. As you can see the effect is bit harsh. I want it to be light and very minimal. Best way is to decrease the opacity. In the effects panel, you can find this option. Now do some final adjustments, rotations, color updates, placement, etc. Once everything is set, now it's the time to add some more effect. Let's create a pattern. I will draw a random shape using the pen tool. Once that's done, I will duplicate the shape in rotation by continuously pressing Ctrl plus J. It will create a beautiful pattern. Then you can customize the pattern color or shapes. I have applied a neon color to the pattern stroke. Let's rotate it while creating duplicates. This will result in a circular pattern. Now you can place the pattern in the background and adjust its transparency or blurriness using effects. Now let's see the final output. Hope you like the design. This looks beautiful. Similarly, you can create any pattern or design you want. Just try to be creative and make your content do the job for you. I will see you guys in my next video with something more creative.